So come to stand on your mat. And we'll find the feet about hip width or slightly wider. Comfortable stance and just notice what you just did when you stood. Where are your feet? Where are your arms? Where's your head? Now we're going to start to tighten everything up. So we want to start to uh, straighten the knees, drawing the knees up into the thighs for strength here, and have the feet parallel. Okay, not out like this or in like this. The feet are parallel. Our hips are right over our ankles. Shoulders over the hips. And hands are at the side of the body rather than front. Turn your palms out, point your thumbs away from you. And the ears are right over the shoulders. And now we're standing long and tall. We're lifting actually the ribs away from the hips here to elongate the spine. And breathe. And just let your breath smooth out. And we're going to deepen the breath with some count. We're going to go four, 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 six, and four, eight. So let's go ahead and exhale, belly button to spine. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to inhale for four. One, two, three, four. Just hold at the top for a moment, and then we're going to exhale. Oh, I did that backwards, didn't I? We're going to exhale six, six, five, four, three, two, one, and inhale four. Hold here at the top, and let's exhale eight here, eight, seven, six, three, Two, one, and inhale four. And now a couple of just super deep breaths, whatever that's meaning to you right now. Deep exhale, deep inhale. Adding some arms on your next inhale with the palms out to the side, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, float the arms up, palms touch, and hands will come heart center. Now we're going to repeat that. Inhaling, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, reaching up, up, up. Palms touch, and hands come heart center. Your arms are going to go as high as your shoulders are permitting right now before they start getting all hunched. Palms touch. And hands come heart center. All right, let's shake it out. We've been in kind of a static position. Just move your legs, your arms, your hips a little bit. And we'll start our spinal health series with the knees. Bend, uh, slightly bent, the hips slightly back, big cats and cows here. Inhale the arms out by your shoulders, exhale, draw your fingertips forward. Now as you inhale, take the elbows back, heart shines up. Cats and cows rounding forward, fingertips touch and open. Keep moving on your own breath here. And the next time your fingertips are touching, press your palms together. Feel that energy in between your shoulder blades. 
And from here, with your palms touching, if possible, just take your arms straight up, straight up. Inhale, feet are grounded. We're gonna start moving side to side. Take your right wrist in your left hand with the feet grounded, tilt to the left and up. Remember it's early, so we're going mild here first. We're going over to the right now with the left wrist in the right hand. If this is hunching your shoulders up, bend your elbows more, drop your shoulders away from your ears and just go side to side at a pace and to a depth that feels great to you. And the next time you're over to the left, stay there. So we're staying to the left and then we're going to release both arms parallel to the earth. Press those left fingertips away. Make sure the feet are nice and grounded and take that right shoulder behind with the heart shining up. Come back to center. Take the left wrist in the right hand. Stay here. Make sure that left foot is grounded here. Release the arms. Press the right fingertips away and roll back through the left shoulder. Heart shines forward. Inhale, arms up. We're going to drop down and up just with loose hips and loose knees. Down and up. And when you come down and you're crossing your arms, cross the right arm one time, cross the left arm the next time. So we can start to release the shoulders a little more here, right and left. And then the next time you come down, stay here and free form. You might want to take opposite hand to opposite elbow, traditional rag doll style. You might want to let your arms hang and swing them back and forth. Just loosen things up, shake it out. You might want to stand a little taller. This is your practice. It's your time. And make sure, though, that your head is participating. Nod the head, yes and no. And then find your way back to center and slowly roll up. Shoulders come back and down. Nice, tall standing here. Inhale and exhale. All right. And shake it out. So we went side to side. We're going to do some gentle twisting now. So take your feet slightly wider than hip width distance. Knees and hips are soft. This is also going to be a great opening for the shoulders in both directions. Right arm up and back. Think about your shoulders as much as you're thinking about the twist here. Then left arm up and back. And just go side to side. So we're encouraging the body to wake up. Happy Monday, happy week, great morning. All right, the next time you go back and forth with your left hand, you'll be about even. Shake things out a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Now bring your feet back to hip width distance. And we're just going to start with a little neck um, release here. So take your right shoulder towards your right ear and come back to center. And take your left shoulder towards your left ear. Notice if you have one side that might feel a little more uh, resistant than the other. We're going back to the right here, back to the right, and up and back to the left. And up. Now we're going to drop the chin toward the chest and roll the right ear to right shoulder, drop the chin toward the chest, roll the left ear to left shoulder, and go around a few times. Now, if you want to, we're going side to side. If you want to add the backwards part of a head roll, do that, but carefully making sure not to 
fling the head back and either you're either going side to side or three rolls complete to the right, three complete rolls to the left, whichever feels better to you. And then when you're done, come back up to standing with the head um, right on top of the shoulders. And we're gonna see if the neck is a little less resistant now. So take your right ear toward your right shoulder. Take your left arm out at about a 45 degree angle and reach away, reach away. And then come back to center, left, uh, left ear to left shoulder. Right arm up, 45, reach away, long line through the neck to the fingertips and come center and let's shake things out again. Woo. Okay, we're going to um, come make our way down to the mat. So let's go ahead and come to the back of the mat with the feet hip width distance apart. Okay, so remember, you can be working at a chair, you can um, do all of the options that you know, and if I don't give you a, an option that works for you, let me know and I will. Inhale, float the arms up. We're gonna exhale from the hip creases here, float forward and bring the hands wherever they land on the legs. Okay, we just are you know, warming up our practice. So your hands might be at the thighs, shins, some people's hands might be touching the mat already. Let your head hang, feel that nice release all the way up through the legs and then down from the hips to the crown of the head. Bend your knees, bring your hands to your thighs, shine your heart forward, half lift here, feel those legs super engaged. Now draw the hands down and walk your hands forward. You're coming into either a knee down plank, nice and strong, or knee up plank, nice and strong. Doesn't matter which. What matters is that it's strong. And then downward facing dog, inhale and exhale. Take your right knee down to the mat, spin the left foot down and reach up with that left arm, knee down, side plank. Yes, there you are. And let's take that left hand down, come back to downward facing dog. I'm gonna stay on the same side. You are bringing now your left knee down. I wanna be able to see you. Right arm up, right foot to the mat. Yes, hello everybody. And bring your right hand down, come back to downward facing dog. And here, this is super fun. Walk your hands back to your feet. Inhale and exhale and float the arms out and up all at once. Straighten the legs, inhale, palms touch and hands come heart center. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Float the arms up, inhale. Exhale from your hip creases, swan dive. There you go. Bend the knees, bring the hands to the thighs, hips back, shine your heart forward, half lift. And then bring your hands down and find your way to a nice strong plank, knees up or down, you're strong, strong, strong. Right knee down, open to the right. If you wanna do knee upside plank, then just go ahead and straighten your bottom leg, yes. Float that. Top hand down, come to down dog. You know it now. And switch sides, other knee down, open to the other side or keep the legs straight and open. Yeah, there it is. Inhale and exhale. Bring your top hand down, come to downward facing dog. Remember your dog could always be a table. You could be doing dog at the wall. We're going to bend one knee and then the other, massaging those feet, really feeling the ankles here. Oh, bring the knees down and sit off to the side. And then come into seated mountain pose. Inhale and exhale. 
All right, how's everybody doing so far? Are we good? Okay, so um, last week we had some fun with our rolled up. Everybody has a rolled up mat or a towel. Okay, we're going to take it and put it lengthwise on the mat. Last week we had it right under the shoulder blades and we laid over it. This week it's going to come down the spine. So just take your mat by your sacrum here, that's this uh, little triangular bone lower here, and we're going to release the spine onto the mat. Now you might need to come up and push the mat down a little farther because you want your head actually off the mat. If you feel like your head is just too low, you know, your chin is just, your neck is being bothered, you can stick a little something under your head. But for most of us, we're not, this isn't so high that we have a problem here. Okay, is everybody set? Raise one foot in the air and wiggle at me if you're set. Okay, great. So this is starting to feel pretty good, isn't it, right? We're uh, feeling the chest open side to side. Let's take the arms out in a T position for a moment and just see how that feels. Take a few breaths. This is a, this is a nice opening for the front of the body, but that's not the only reason we're here. We're here to do some instability work and get deeply into the core. So now take your arms back down by your side. Raise your hands to the fingertips with your elbows off the mat. And if you might feel that your body is just a little starting to wobble here, okay. And if you're not a little wobbly, you're probably holding onto the mat too hard. So make sure your fingers are just barely touching the mat and then bring your toes to the mat. So you're lifting your heels, bring your heels close to your body, bring your toes to the mat and start to notice what's happening in the deep core here. Okay, when you brought your toes up and your fingers light, your deep core is starting to um, really need to be engaged here, okay? So raise one arm and wiggle at me if you're starting to feel your deep core. Wiggle your fingers. Now raise your other arm. And maybe you start to feel a little more unstable, but you're still pretty cool, huh? Let's try raising one leg. Maybe, oh, and the knee is in tabletop for now. Okay, and let's try bringing the other leg up <laughs> and to see what happens. Be careful if you fall off your mat like I just did. You're not going to fall too far. Just keep trying to come back to it. Yeah. All right. Bring your feet and your hands down for a moment. Raise one foot and wiggle at me if you fell off your mat or if you felt that whole instability, right? Okay, so that's good. That's what we want. Bring the fingertips back to the mat. Light, light touch of the fingertips here. Toes to the mat. Light touch of the toes, right? Two arms up. One knee. Other knee. Have a little fun with it for a moment. Keep coming back. And bring everything down. Whew. Inhale and exhale. All right, so now we're gonna bring the toes to, uh, the, toes to the mat, fingertips to the mat. Remember, elbows are, are lifted here. Right knee first, left arm now right knee, left arm, and then bring the right foot and left hand down, and left arm, right knee, 
and see if you can swap in mid-air. <laughs> see what happens. There you go. Just play with it, play with it. So we went right knee, left arm. The next time you do left knee, right arm, you will be about done. Come on back. You can put your feet firmly on the mat now. <sighs> arms on the mat. Then take your arms out to a T and just enjoy the shoulder opening a little more here. Inhale and exhale. While you're here, think about that deep core work where you just felt that work happening in your deep, deep core, the transverse abdominis we were using. Inhale and exhale. Ooh, and now let's just roll over to one side, roll off the mat, press yourself up, and take the mat and put it off to the side. All right, inhale and exhale. Take your legs forward and give them a nice little crazy shake here. So since we're sitting up, we're going to do um, rock the baby hip openings. So go ahead, your left leg is straight, foot is flexed, spine is long. Take your right knee in, hold on to the right foot with the left hand. Remember the torso is staying straight forward here. We are just moving that leg. little hip opening here. Take your right ankle to your left thigh, support yourself with your hands here, and draw your left foot in. Okay, now flex your right foot. Now before we start to move the right leg back and forth, just notice, oh, we're in a nice spinal opening position. So roll your shoulder blades toward each other and look up. Just a little bonus move here. And then release and take your right foot side to side. Still keeping that torso nice and still here. The next time the right foot is coming to the left, let it come all the way to the left. We're holding on to the right shin, but we're not using this left arm to uh, take us into a twist. We're gonna take the right arm up and back and just take a natural twist from the belly button, turning the gaze toward the right shoulder. Keep the spine long. And if this hip, if your right hip is lifted, move your foot in front of your shin so you could sit more evenly on the mat. and then release, unwind. We'll do the same thing on the left. Right leg is long, right foot is flexed. Left foot in the right hand, side to side. And then take your left ankle to your right thigh Draw that right foot in till it touches the mat. Your hands are behind you. We'll take that little bonus heart opening here and release. That helps us prepare for a week of sitting hunched over computers and whatever else forward we do. Let's go ahead and take that left foot from side to side. Keep your left foot flexed, please. Your knee will thank you for that. And then the left foot comes all the way over to the right. Once again, we're moving into this half Lord of the Fishes pose, but where's the left hip here? If it's up, just move your foot. Holding on to the left shin with the right hand, but not using it for our twist. Left arm up and back with a long spine, twisting only from the belly button, gazing toward the left shoulder. And then come back center, release, unwind, both feet forward, legs long, give the legs a crazy shake. Inhale and exhale. Okay, 
We're going to be coming to hands and knees and we're going to be spending a little bit of time there. So if you want extra padding under your knees, take a moment and make sure you have that. If your wrists are uncomfortable, you can always roll up the front of your mat or you might have those fancy wrist elevators. So the point here is the wrists are in a right angle a lot of the time. If it bothers you, we want to straighten out that right angle. Another way to straighten out the right angle is by bringing the hands slightly forward of the shoulders here. Inhale and exhale. So our posture really begins at the foot, travels up through the ankle into the leg. So let's make sure those feet are happy and the ankles are strong. Take your right leg back with the toes tucked. Now press through the heel. Be mindful about this because it's easy to just press back with the hands instead. Press back with the heel and then roll over the foot. Feel those toes getting massaged. Press through the heel, roll over the foot, keeping the torso as steady as possible. Another thing you could do here, right while we're here, is come into forearms. It's all about what's going to make your wrist happy as well. And then take your right heel back and hold. And bring that right knee down. You might have noticed your thigh engage in that when you did it too. Go ahead and take your left leg back, tuck the toes. And it's a press and roll. Very mindfully Press back with the heel, roll over the toes. So we're building strength and flexibility here in, from the ankle to the toes predominantly. Take the heel back and hold and bring the knee down and just sit up on your knees for a moment and wiggle your hands around. Okay, so you could be standing with your hands on a chair and doing the same thing. You could be at a wall, and if anybody needs me to demonstrate that, let me know. Okay, we're going to go back to the core now. Yay! All right. It's easy. Don't worry. I know I said I was going to go easy on you, too. <laughs> this one's not that tough. Okay, they're all, they're all important. Take your right leg back to hip height and your left arm forward, and we're going to take knee to elbow four times here. Crunch and release and three, and release, and two, and one. Woo, all right, bring it down. Now switch sides, left leg, right arm, elbow to knee, and release, elbow to knee, and release, two, and release, and one, and release, and child's pose. If you don't feel like you're ready for child's pose yet, just wiggle around until you feel ready. Big toes together, knees wide apart. And go ahead and make sure your head is very supported here. It's either touching the mat or you could be making a pillow with your hands. Two fists, slide a block. We don't want the neck to have to hold up the head in child's pose. And take a few breaths here. And then find your way to downward facing dog. And go ahead and wiggle around a little bit in your dog, still pressing one heel and then the other. And find a journey, feet to the hands. So you can be walking straight forward, you can hop, you can take big steps, you can. Bring your feet wider, wider, wider as you come up. And then everybody, hands to the thighs, shine your heart forward. Exhale, and float the arms out and up. Palms touch as the legs straighten. Hands come heart center, and if your feet are wide, bring them back to hip width distance. All right, so I talked about we're gonna stand on a block and do so as release. 
Um, also, if you happen to notice that you have one side a little tighter, you're going to do your tighter side a second time. Okay, so we want the block about a foot from the um, wall here and step your outside foot, okay? You could also do this, most of the time I do this with the block closer to the wall and my inside foot, but put your hand on the wall. As long as you're elevated so your leg has room to move forward and back. So what we're doing here is allowing this leg the long leg to drop and that rejuvenates that whole socket there and then we're swinging side to side I mean forward and back okay and now we're going to uh, switch sides so actually just move your block closer to the wall so you can stay facing the same way stand with your other leg on well, you move your block far enough so your hand gently touches the wall and you have room to swing your other leg. If you get your block too close to the wall, your arm is gonna be like really jammed up. And release. All right, shake it out. If you wanna do one side, extra then stay on that side if you feel like you want to do both sides extra you're going to switch okay and i think you could e just easily switch without turning around like we just did so go ahead and put your um side that you want on the block and swing what you consider to be your tighter side if you have one And just keep going with this side or if you feel like you have um, you want to do your other side as well because they're a little more even go ahead and switch sides I highly recommend doing this every day there is no downside to doing this and release because as you can see and come come off your block the most of the day when we're standing right there's gravity connecting the um, hip and the top of the thigh so when we can let that gravity release you could also do it on a step anything that elevates your foot does that make sense okay so since we have the block let's keep the block right here Put it to uh, the front of your mat here and come to mountain pose at the top of your mat we're going to do sun salutation with a knee down crescent lunge inhale float the arms up exhale swan dive over hip creases hands to the thighs knees bend heart shines forward half lift Hands down to the mat, step back with your right leg and wiggle around in this lunge for a moment. Inhale and exhale. Bring your block within reach, so bring it uh, to, near to your front foot. Bring your right knee down, extend the uh, toes behind you, engage your core and lift up into low crescent lunge inhale and exhale okay now we're going to bring both hands to the block and just let the hips come forward keep your left knee on top of your left ankle let that release come all in the right side here inhale and exhale All right, set your block away, put two hands to the mat, tuck your back toes, and come into either knee up or knee down plank. 
Nice strong plank, strong chaturanga. Stay in control the whole way down. There you go. All right, now go ahead and lift your hands off the mat, three inches, shoulders toward the ears, down the spine, and just think about shining your heart forward. Don't even move your head, it's just gonna follow the spine. Good, release the hands to the mat and find your way to downward facing dog. Looking good, looking good. Inhale and exhale here. And then we're just gonna find our way, feet to the hands, whatever way feels great to you now. Hands to the thighs, half lift, exhale, fold, float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center and release. Okay, all right, so we're gonna do the same thing, starting on the left this time. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, swan dive, long spine, hip creases, Half lift, bring the hands down, step back with the left leg, hang out in this lunge. From your block by the front of your right foot, take your left knee down, point the toes behind you, and come into low crescent lunge. Notice if you're sinking into your spine, try and lift out of your spine, uh, this, this lumbar spine, the low spine here. And then exhale, bring your hands to the block and allow that um, stretch to deepen now, keeping the right knee over the right ankle. We want the work to be in the left. and then release and find your way to plank, knee up or down, plank. Strong, beautiful planks and chaturanga. Okay, this could even be a chaturanga. Your hands don't even have to be at the wall. As you draw your uh, elbows back, you're getting that whole situation. All right, come all the way down. All right, this time we're gonna do something different. We're going to make a pillow with the hands, rest the forehead on the hands, and take the legs mat with distance apart. Inhale and exhale. Now, we're not gonna use the arms, we're going to use the spine. Keep your hands attached to your forehead as you use your spine to shine your heart forward. The hands are just decorations. They're not doing the work and release. Switch which hand is on top, rest your forehead and do it again. Use your back muscles to lift the head. Yes, not the arms and release. All right, now you've got a nice pillow with your hands. Take your legs. Um, hip width distance apart, bend at the knees, and we're gonna do spinal, I know some of you are already in it. <laughs> yep, feet are side to side. And then find your way to downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. And take a journey bringing your feet to your hands. When you get to your hands, half lift, forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. And release. All right. So Take your um, block, take your legs wide, you're holding your block, your legs are wide, your toes are face forward, and then 
always folding from the hip creases long spine bring your block to center some of you may not need it but it's here if you want it okay and even if your hand reaches the uh, mat sometimes you want to just use the block anyway inhale take the arms up we're going to exhale forward fold from the hip creases super long spine here Bring your left hand to the block and your right arm up, keeping the spine super long here. Some people might be here. Most of us will use the block. Bring your right hand down and lift up with the left arm. Nice little twist here, but keeping the spine long. All right, bring both hands to the block one more time on each side lift and down and lift to the other side and down now just float your arms out by your shoulders and come halfway up and think about where your hips are in relation to your ankles Hips should be uh, right over the ankles, pretty much. You're getting a nice hamstring stretch here. Now bring both hands to the block here and just hang out in this hamstring stretch. Let your head super hang. Go ahead, bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up, take a breath. And come the rest of the way up with a nice straight spine. Heel toe, shake your legs out. Woo, take that block away. Press it off to the side. How's everybody doing? Pretty good? All right, so let's see what happened to our posture now. Take your feet hip width distance apart and come to standing. Notice where everything is and then come into mountain pose where you're really intentionally extending the spine, thumbs are out, heart is open, ears over the shoulders, just visualize yourself in this place here in mountain pose. and release and shake it out okay so a few times during the day we want to make sure we're just checking in we're not going to go like into mountain pose and look like zombies walking the earth but we do want to check in ear over shoulder shoulder over hip hip over ankle toes forward right inhale and exhale all right so let's do a little standing camel while we're here Put both hands on the hips here with your fingertips pointing down. Exhale, and then as you inhale, your elbows start to head toward each other and you slightly lift the heart. The head follows the spine here. We're not throwing the head back. Standing camel and release. Whew. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. So now we're going to try it with the hands clasped. Clasp your hands. If that doesn't feel good, just bring your hands back to your hips. Okay, we're going to roll the shoulder blades toward each other, lift the heart, press the fingers toward the mat, let the head stay in line with the spine, and release. Now switch your grasp by one finger, right? Okay, you already know why we're doing this, for evenness. And shoulder blades toward each other, heart shines forward, look up. And release, shake it out. All right, so if you spend a lot of time forward, you know, at a desk, or, I mean, most of us do anyway, because everything we're doing is forward of us, this is a good thing to do a couple of times during the day, and let's just march things out. 
We're going to march it out and come into a standing um, oblique work. So tap and tap, tap and tap, tap and tap, tap and tap, 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 three and four, and come back to standing. All right. I hope you guys can still see me moving. Oh, just saw somebody move. Yes, you're a little frozen here. Come to the top of your mat and make sure you have your um, roll handy, okay? You might want to use it. Oh, good, you're all back. All right, so we're going to have the roll nearby. And that could be your blanket, a towel, right? A rolled up mat. We're working our way down to the earth. Feet are hip width distance. Inhale and exhale. All right. Take stock of how the body feels and then just let go. Okay, before we come down, let go. Shake it out, move around, do anything that the body is requesting. And then, great, come back to mountain pose. Inhale, floating the arms up. Swan dive from the hip creases, super long, super long. Keep your legs straight. We do not care if the hands touch the floor or the legs anywhere. We want a nice long release in the hamstrings. Bring your hands to your thighs, hips back, knees bend. Shine your heart forward, bring your hands down, and step back to downward facing dog. If you want to go to table instead, you can. If you want to be at the wall, you can be at the wall. And let your hips move side to side. If you're in dog, the knees are going to participate. Yeah. And then everybody bring your knees down and sit off to the side. Come back to seated mountain pose here. Inhale and exhale. And let everything shake out. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of nice, soft, smooth forward folds. We're not trying to get anywhere with these. We just want to float the arms gently up and exhale forward. Roll the hands up, the legs float the arms gently up, and soft forward fold here. Great, and then float the arms up. All right, let's go ahead and have this rolled up mat or towel nearby. Bend the knees and Come on down. Inhale and exhale here. So we're going to bring the heels close to the hips. Oh, I should have said this, but if your block is nearby, grab your block and put it in between your thighs. So this is going to keep the knees in a good position for bridging. Sorry about that. Okay. So your block is now in between your thighs and your goal is to not drop it. Now if you were using a book instead of a block, this is not going to work. Just envision that there's something in between your legs about, you know, block width and you want to keep your legs isometrically um, moving toward each other. All right, bend at the elbows, your hands are facing each other. Okay, now slowly roll up through the pelvis, start to lift the hips. And slowly, slowly replace the spine on the mat. Touch down and once again, slowly roll up. And slowly down. Now 
you might find that you're wanting to move your heels a little closer, we're going to use the arms now to help extend this uh, back bend. So roll up, the arms are still with the upper arm on the mat, bent at the elbows, palms facing. And go ahead and use your arms to maybe lift yourself higher if that feels okay to you. Here's where the knees are going to uh, typically start to want to come apart. Now put space in between your shoulder blades and slowly, slowly, slowly roll down. Remove the block. Feel it still there even though it's gone. Walk your heels closer to your hips. Lift up and come into as high a bridge as you want to this morning. Okay? Now you can drop your hands down by your side. Another option, some people like to walk their shoulder blades toward each other and clasp the hands underneath. Inhale and exhale. Just for fun, if you have your hands clasped, change your finger position by one. And then release your arms, put space in between your shoulder blades and slowly bring the um, spine back to the mat. Inhale and exhale. We're going to extend both arms and both legs long. And take a nice deep inhale and draw in just the right leg, hamstring or shin you're holding on to. Extend the right leg, both arms overhead. Draw the left leg in, hamstring or shin. Extend the left leg, both arms long, and both legs in, hamstring or shin. We're going to go through that one more time. Extend both legs, both arms, right leg only in, holding hamstring or shin. Let that leg rock around. Extend the right leg, both arms, left leg in. Let the hip move around. Extend the left leg, both arms, both knees in. And we're going to rock around, so side to side, forward and back. Make little circles, whatever starts to feel good to you. Inhale and exhale as you move around. All right, now with your knees still in toward your chest, go ahead and start to open your knees. Maybe the soles of the feet start to touch. Maybe they don't quite either way. See if you can hold on to your ankles, and if they're too far away, just hold on to your hamstrings. And just feel a nice little stretch here. Go for something that feels good to you. Now release your right hand from your right leg and take your right leg straight and your right arm straight out to the side. And come back and left arm out to the side. Left leg straight up in a little diagonal and bring it back. Now both legs, both arms. Nice. And bring it in. Bring your feet to the mat, hip width distance apart. And go ahead and let your knees gently open and close. Little butterfly wings. All right. Take your arms out to a T here. Keep your left foot on the mat. Take your right leg straight up and point and flex that ankle. Just really focus on your right side. Circle one direction and the other. Release the right foot to the mat. Take the left leg up, point and flex. And circle. 
circle other direction and bring the left foot down. You're going to open and close the fingers, wiggle, rotate at the wrists one direction and the other. And with long arms, knees bent, feet on the mat, just go ahead and turn your head slowly side to side. Now come to center and bring your hands down till they're only about six inches away from the hips and turn your head side to side a few more times. See if this feels different to you, if you prefer this, if you prefer the other way. And then bring your head back to center here. Start to scan your body, align yourself. We've still got this roll nearby, so sometimes it feels great to put the roll under the knees, if you normally keep your legs straight, you might like to do that. Or you might just want to keep your knees bent, or you might just want to be in your normal, regular position for Shavasana. See what feels good to you. Situate your body comfortably, very, very comfortably. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Allow your body to just melt onto the earth. Inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, just release the body onto the earth. Let go of all effort and be in your final relaxation. Begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Bring movement back to your body. Gently wiggle fingers and toes. And on your next inhale, extend the arms and legs long. Exhaling, draw your knees in. Give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side and slowly, carefully back up to a nice, easy seat. Drawing your palms together as you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit. Thank and honor yourself for your practice. And we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.